What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kevozilla back with another video. Guys, I know I sound kind of scratchy. My voice is down bad. Past two days, I had a good time. Your boy was screaming. I, I did it to myself. I hurt my own voice and it's chopped right now. But um, yeah, it'll, it'll come back. It'll come back. It's just down bad right now. But I still got to make this video because it's very important for you guys to know. You see what I got in my hands? It is the official PlayStation 5 DualSense Edge controller. It came in today. I'm hyped. Finally got it. Finally, finally have it in the palm of my thick hands. I love it. <laughs> this, this is going to be my go-to. I'm absolutely obsessed. I love it. This is the best thing right now on the market. Trust me, it beats a scuff. It beats everything. Right? My choice, my choice of paddles are the lever ones. Right? It comes with two. It comes with these, and then it comes with uh, another pair smaller. But they're both amazing. I like these because it makes it feel like the strike pack paddles. Oh my god, I love this control so much, guys. You have no idea. I. Right? But let me explain something to you. I know you guys. First question: Oh, does it work? Is there support with the Zen? Does it work with the Zen? Currently, right now, no. But Max Admin, the team, they already confirmed that they're working on the next firmware update to bring us support for this controller. So literally the very next firmware update, we should have support, which is a W. But the very most important part about this video that I got to bring to you guys and explain, all right, let's go into accessories. Whether you have an Edge controller already or you're planning on getting one, please watch this video, especially if you're planning on using it with your Zen. In accessories, DualSense Edge Wireless. Custom profiles. Here's where you customize your profiles, your settings, and all that jazz. I kind of already made a quick one right there. Zilla, let's go into it. Customize button assignments. Here you would, you know, remap, customize your buttons. Then in the bottom, here's where you'll select your paddles, what you want your right paddle to be, your left paddle to be. All right. Now going down to stick sensitivity. All right. This is the first important thing right here. Boom. Left stick. You see it? Left stick doesn't really matter. So you can have all your personal settings here as you see fit. All right. When it comes to the game pack settings and all that, really with the mods, um, it really almost has nothing to do with the left stick because this is just movement, but let's go to the right stick All right, I'm leaving all this as is all right default right stick default curve is not even there You can't adjust it because it's default and dead zone zero. All right My advice to you guys leave this all default for the right stick Why because your settings are already matched up with the Zen within the, the game pack or script And if you start to mess with your right stick um, anything let's say the curve or the dead zone or anything any of this information all right, it is going to bump heads with the Zen. All right, you're going to counter the Zen, you mess up your settings, and you're gonna have a hard time using my values or finding values, or you're just gonna mess up your aim assist settings and all that. Trust me. All right, so you want to keep everything simple, especially if you are using this or planning on using the edge controller with your Zen. All right, for every other game and you're not using the Zen, fine, whatever. You could have like a like a separate custom profile, all right? Because you can you can choose multiple profiles here. All right, but let's say you have a profile only for Zen. I could change this name and put Zen so like that I know, okay, this profile is only for like the COD game pack and stuff like that, all right? But it's very important for the right stick, not the left stick, the right stick, all right? For me, I'm leaving it, oh, I forgot, I gotta use the D-pad. For me, I, I gotta let you guys know that this is my right stick settings, okay? Again, I'm leaving everything default as is like this for my right stick, all right, for the edge controller. And for the left stick, these are my settings. My, my curve is quick, right, because if you read it, is for very fast pace, first person shooters pretty much. The amount of registered input accelerates as you tilt the stick. Good for making quick movements, gain the upper hand by quickly aiming and fast paced shooting games. All right? This is my saying so far. They may change later on down the line because I just got the controller, but we'll see. But again, the right stick, do not mess with it because I'm almost 100% sure that if you start to mess with these settings, how are you going to mess yourself up? Right? Values and all that. All right, so I'm leaving this all as is. And for my trigger dead zone, I got it like this, 0 to 100, 0 to 100 for each. All right, in the back, you already know, in case you already um, saw reviews of this controller, which everyone should by now, all right, you can adjust like the trigger pool in the back. I have mine on the shortest, but it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, I'm planning on using the Zen anyway. And we already know what the Zen has, digital, pretty much digital trigger stops, like the hair trigger mod. So, yeah. Vibration intensity has to be strong by standard. And then trigger effect intensity is strong standard. But again, this won't be um, effective or this won't be active pretty much uh, unless you have the full pull. But me, I'm using the shortest for my L2 and R2. So I won't get that trigger effect. Right. But that's it. I just had to explain about the right stick uh, settings. Right. So be sure to not mess with your right stick settings unless you want to deal with all the headache and have it counteract your game pack settings. All right, guys? 
As always, take care. Till next time.